Hi everyone, so as you might know, having and making a good project right now is essential if you want to crack the top companies. Because not only it will help you in getting shortlisted, but it will also help you in getting development experience. You know, so that you don't end up mugging up theory, theory and theory, and you have actual hands-on experience with the implementation of the tech stacks that you're working on. So definitely having a good project and building a good project can be the key for you to crack the top companies. Because if you have good development experience, and the other candidates do not, then you will definitely stand out from all of the other candidates. And by looking at the title of the video, you would have understood that in this video, we're going to review the projects that Cryo has. So previously, I've made a couple of videos about Cryo where I've reviewed their course. I've even showed you guys the platform, like how it looks inside out, what all features are there and everything in between. But I did not focus much on the projects that they have. And as you know, Cryo is basically project-based platform so it is project-based learning or as they claim learn by doing that's what their motto is right so we're going to see how much that is effective what kind of project do they have and whether you have some good learning while making those projects or not so i have the platform open right here we're going to see inside out we're not going to have a shallow discussion we're going to go deep into it and see what all do they have what type of projects do they have how do they make you learn the code and how do they make you make the projects? So let's get into it. So I have the platform open right here. We're going to see a project, for example, and we're going to see, you know, how they proceed with it, what all do they have in it? And, you know, basically what all you'll be learning in it. Now I've made an entire separate video about the platform where I've given you a walkthrough of the platform and explained and shown you guys what all you get in it, what all the features are there. So if you want to take a look at the platform inside out, then you can watch that video. I'll give a link in the description. And in this video, we're going to focus on the project side of it okay so this is one of the main projects that they have this is basically a cue card project in which you'll be making a e-commerce website and in this you'll be getting deep down you'll be getting you know your hands dirty with both the front end and the back end so you'll be building it yourself now there are two things first thing as we discussed in the previous video is that you'll have learning classes you'll have live classes where the instructors will be teaching you apart from that you'll have a workspace so the workspace will be online so that you can work online there it will be like a dedicated space for you where you can you know build whatever you want front and back end apis you can do everything there online itself so you have those things where you have live classes for your learning you have doubt support and then comes the project so this is qcard and it is divided into qcard back end and qcard front end okay so this is qcard front end and then you have the back end of it so it is divided into those two parts now this is how it starts so you have the introduction this is for the front end okay and basically you have that you have to build and deploy an e-commerce platform so it also shows you that the duration of this will be around 30 hours and uh, the focus of this will be react so they are using react for this as you can see so what will you do you'll be building a front end for a flipkart like website qcart basically so you start off like this the prerequisites are none because everything they'll be teaching you you don't need to do you don't need to know anything from before They'll be teaching you everything that is inside it. So you'll have getting started module in which they will explain everything to you. Like what is the criteria? And this is something similar to working in a company, you know, because you need to know the criteria of the project. Then you need to know what all is there to be accomplished and things like that. So they have the introduction, what all you need to build, how it should look, something like that. So they have everything so that you get an idea in your mind. Key, what all features do you need to implement? You need to implement a shopping cart, you need to implement a login page, a register page, all of these things. So it's a background and in which they also like, you know, help you go through the flow, code flow, working of it pretty much. After that, start with something like authentication. Like how will you have the login register page? Afterwards, you have the workspace. So in this, you can set up your workspace. Like I said, your workspace is your personal workspace for working, for coding and for building projects. So they ask, so they help you in setting it up, what all you need, how to use React there, how to you know implement the UI functionality there and everything. And once you do that, you move on to the next, next topic, which is login page UI, then login functionality, then routing, and you know, so on and so forth, you can move forward. In it. All right, again, likewise, you have a products page where what all needs to be there, everything, is there what API you need to use, what API you need to utilize, and you can build it in your workspace live. So this is how it is. So one thing that is really good is that the requirements are very clear. 
a, a big problem that majority of people face while making project by themselves is that they don't know what they want to implement. The requirement is not clear, but here they have the requirement and expectation set. So you need, so you know already ki how it should look like and what all you need to achieve. Okay. Again, then you have a checkout page, deployment, everything will be there. Okay. Likewise, you have backend. So that was the front end part. This is backend. So backend is done using Node.js. And first they explain to you Node.js, the prerequisite, MongoDB, Node.js and MongoDB. So we'll be having live classes for this, but this is again just for your like revision or understanding, you can say. Okay. So they make you understand basic, basic things, and then you can like start working on it. So authentication, how does the backend side of authentication works? You know, like how what how does things happen in backend? How does authentication work? How do you hash passwords? What algorithms do you use? So every little thing gets covered in this. So as you can see, they have a very beautiful way of explaining everything. You know, like here you can see how does the password get encrypted? And afterwards, you have videos here as well so that, you know, you don't get confused in anything. And of course, if any time you get confused, then you have a doubt support where, you know, you can go to the help desk and you can access doubt support as well. That will always be there for you. And then you have cart API and then you have testing and then you have deployment. And not only this, once you go through all of this, once you build the front end in your workspace, once you build the back end and, you know, once you go through all of these things, like these little setup, these little stages, then at the end of everything, you'll also get to see how the project is actually looking like. So for example, you can see this is a working model of the deployed projects that has been built. So this is QCart. This is the UI that we have made using React.js. This is how it looks. All of these features were implemented by us and all of these little things, you will be the one building, you know, like login page, register page, searching for items, you know, how to make a search bar, how does the item search work, for example, if you want shoes. So it will only show you shoes, things like that. So everything you will be the one implementing and at the end of everything, you will be able to see, you know, whether it worked properly or not, like add to cart, check out, all of these things. So this is one of the example projects that you have. Apart from this, you have multiple other projects. I just took this one, for example, because it is sort of a standard thing that you need to learn to become a full stack web developer. So this is how the projects will look like. If you're wondering, you know, if you were wondering before, okay, how are the projects, whether they're worth it or not. So this is the sort of thing. And this is pretty much everything that you'll be learning along with the project. And if you want to see the course out for yourself, then I've given a link in the description. From there, you can check the course out for yourself. And if you have any doubts, then feel free to leave a comment. And yeah, let me know what course you want me to review next. That's all. Thank you.